everyone. It's very novel to see lots of faces looking at me. Um, very nice to meet some of you all today. Um, I'm Devon Glass. I'm a postdoctoral research fellow working for the Primary and Community Health Services theme. Um, I first want to acknowledge that this project has been very much a team effort throughout um, and, I've, and the bulk of the project has actually been completed before I came into post in February but I'm very pleased to jump on board and see the project through to completion so a big thank you to all of the um, theme and special thank you to Kat um, who I think has disappeared but she's um, been very helpful throughout the project with elements of co-production PCIE and also our theme public advisors and Hasu is with us today so thank you Hasu um, <laughs> for all of your input throughout they've acted as um, collaborators throughout the project um, and have been involved in the early conceptualization of the project and um, also in the facilitation of focus groups protocols um, and more recently in refining um, reviewing our themes with um, Georgie and I um, so the project, like Shoni, is very much um, consultation based um, rather than research. Um, so it's in response to some of the substantial challenges that the healthcare and community care system is facing, as we've heard throughout the day today. Um, and there's a recognition that a lot of these issues are impacting <coughs> upon patients' experiences and outcomes as well. Um, so as a theme, one of our aims is to support um, healthcare services and providers um, and patients to work together to inform and improve services. Um, and we recognise the importance of um, place-based approaches and involving the local community in research from the very outset. Um, so our aim was to involve members of the community um, and members of the public throughout Kent Surrey and Sussex to um, help refine our research priorities as a theme. Um, and to do this, we used elements of PCIE and co-production uh, throughout the project, as I just mentioned. Um, and we held three focus groups, um, one each for each area in Kent, Surrey and Sussex. Um, so these were all held online and our lovely research assistant, Georgie, who is also here, um, <laughs> kindly analysed um, the transcripts of these thematically for us. Um, and this resulted in three overarching themes, each with kind of three to four sub themes underneath. So I'm going to go through that now. Um, so our first theme was about improving the front door to the NHS, so a very basic theme of improving access to services. Um, and firstly, this included um, creating more accessible and practical booking systems, um, but also ensuring physical accessibility needs were met um, for all patients. Um, and there's one quote up here that mentions about wheelchair access, for instance, um, which can be a significant barrier for some people, even just in their GP surgeries, being able to get into an appointment. Um, but also encouraging things like inclusive environments um, and ensuring that adaptations are available for a range of different needs as well for patients. Um, another key theme under this heading was about considering the increase in technology on patient access. Um, and this was not just about um, access to appointments, but also access to um, personal patient records as well, which was looked upon quite favourably by our sample of participants. Um, but there was some tension regarding equity of access to those records as well. Um, and a lot of the quotes that we saw <coughs> under that sub theme did reflect um, a digital divide as well. So some uh, participants recognised that their access to services had increased because of their reliance on technology, but others um, had found it quite a hindrance to um, accessing appointments. Um, the second um, sub theme was um, this fits very nicely with a lot of the conversations we've been having today. So it's about addressing problems within the healthcare system itself and mitigating the impact um, of these problems on patients. Um, so funding was, of course, mentioned quite a lot. Um, and this was about obviously funding and resources, physical resources within the system to meet patient needs, but also about the distribution of funds throughout the system um, and how patients were involved in that consultation process. So again, there's a quite a lovely photo of one of these um, speech bubbles here that indicated how one a speech and language provision, um, presumably for one of the participants' children, was removed during the summer, um, which actually was a really valuable resource for that community, um, and they weren't consulted or kind of had any further support in, in that area elsewhere. Um, waiting times was of course listed as well and we've included this under this banner of problems in the healthcare system um, because of the links to workforce issues that we've been talking about again today. Um, and also relationships between um, practitioners and patients were mentioned by quite a few of the um, participants in the focus groups. Um, 
and we kind of recognised that there was a reduction in trust in patients' um, views of practitioners to um, provide appropriate care. Um, and this obviously links to some of these other issues that we're talking about, but it's kind of the direct experience of the patient. Um, and the final theme there um, is about mitigating the impact of all of these um, issues on patients and finding some innovative solutions um, within the limited resources that we have. Um, and the final theme was about further developing patient-centred care, which links very nicely to some of our theme aims as well. Um, so the first was about improving engagement um, with patients by reaching out to some seldom heard and marginalised um, communities. Um, and also the second was about providing alternative support um, in other settings, so in the home, and again going into patients. Um, so we see those two sub-themes um, connecting together almost to provide a shift in the burden or the responsibility of some of the um, services to reach out rather than the responsibility being on the patient to seek support in cases of ill health, so supporting um, public health and well-being. Um, and the third sub-theme here was about providing personalised care, but also involving um, patients and their carers or families more readily in decisions about their care, which does tie very nicely into one of our themes as well. Um, and finally, um, looking at increasing joined up care across services, so between health and social care, um, community care as well, um, and again, families and carers being more involved um, in that integrated system as well. Um, so we think the community-led uh, research has the potential to direct some limited resources to some key areas of need, um, particularly following a place-based approach so that we can um, consider the needs of the local communities in Kent, Surrey and Sussex. Um, overall, some of these um, results are aligning to our PCHS sub-themes, which is very nice, um, but we hope that the research will hold us to account on some of the um, research that we're currently doing within the theme and also help to guide some of the future research that we have uh, going on as well. Um, overall, we think they highlight the need for some innovative solutions in the face of some challenges, um, but there's an acceptance of um, community and place-based approaches um, and towards models of left-shifting care as well, which is quite a key finding. Um, but also in the importance of involving patients in all of these decisions. Um, so we hope that this project is kind of the first step towards that. So starting involving patients in decisions about research before the research happens. Um, and that's done. So thank you.